We found JC's AC antenna has a serious color discrepancy before. Does this 2016 version A380 made the same mistake again? Don't want to wait, find it out at the fourth minute. I'll reach this JC Asiana A380 in 10 categories. This 2016 product follows the Asiana color schemes and just looks like an official product. But the hard styrofoam leaves annoying particles sticking to the model. I'll give packaging an 8. This A380 comes with magnetic landing gear and a display stand. Back in 2016, JC hadn't introduced its signature adjustable display stand yet, so we have the standard one here. The nose gear door cover fits perfectly. It's much better than Gemini's, which comes with large gaps. The magnetic landing gear is easy to attach. I'll give an 8. JC accurately captures the important features of the A380, including the rounded, a short nose, rounded forehead, the wing joints, and a massive wing and horizontal stabilizer. The wing attachment is better than Gemini's model from the same period which always have very visible gap. I'll give the mode a 9. These four Rolls-Royce engines look incredibly real with see-through cores, accurate fan blade shape and size. The fan blades can spin, and the four engines are all pointing at the same angle. It has correct spin the spiral on the cones, I'll say engines deserve a 9. Unlike Gemini's Korean Air A380, which had an uneven length problem with the landing gear and therefore causes the plane to tilt to one side, this JC obviously doesn't have this problem. Its wings and horizontal stabilizer are highly symmetrical. Its vertical stabilizer joint is neat and the gap is not obvious. I'll give build a 9. This landing gear definitely outperforms Gemlines A380s from the same period. Unlike Gemlines, where the two nose wheels are sitting quite far apart. The two nose wheels are sitting close together. Gemlines nose gear door has a huge gap between the nose wheel door and the fuselage. And this Asiana doesn't have such an irritating gap. What's more, its main landing gear joints are tight when they are in a tilt position. I'll give a 9. For details, this A380 recreates all the major features precisely, either by printing, individual parts, or engraving. The air intake at the bottom and the APU exhaust are particularly well done. The only disappointment is the lack of landing lights on the nose landing gear. And there are only printed landing lights on the wings. I'll give details an 8. The ACM livery on this JC is very close to the real thing. The placement and size of various typefaces and logos are correct. The beige of the fuselage and the six color bands on the tail are faithfully recreated. The Star Alliance and UNICEF logos on the nose are very detailed. I'll give livery a 9. For painting, in my and other unboxing videos, I've shown you how other ACN models produced by JC and InFlight 200 have troubles with ACN's colors. But don't worry, this JC doesn't have such problems. We can see the orange and purple on the tail are clearly distinguished from red and blue. The paint job is well done. It deserves a 9. Over the years, 
Only JC has produced Asian A380 in one 200 scale, and therefore making the resale prices sky high. Gemini doesn't release its Asian A380s until 2023, but the number of units produced is still rather limited, considering the high demand and the exceptional quality of this old 2016 model. I'll give it a perfect score of 10. I'll give this JC Asiana a total of 87 points in my Eric Index. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.